on him, reel on him, reel on him, buddy. Oh, shoot, reel on him. Take this right here. Let him run it out now. Let him run it out. Let him take it. Oh, it's just rolling. Slow to you. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to this very special Addictive Life. Today, you guys are going to be going out with me as a guy fishing for salmon on the Columbia River. You know, we've had a really interesting season so far. We've had lots of shutdowns and lots of areas that have been closed and then opened. And today is basically the kind of the reopening of the Columbia River. Um, you know, it's been closed for a few days and so fishing should be really, really, really productive. So it should be interesting. I'm gonna go through my process that I do with my guys to train them up to get them ready to be able to catch fish with me on my guide service. So hopefully, Everything goes right, but as with every guided trip, you never know the cards that are gonna get dealt to you. So it could be, anything can happen day. So as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Share this video out with all your like-minded fishing family, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, anybody who likes fishing, share the channel out too. Don't forget to subscribe, turn the bell on. I got all that stuff done for Marlin. So now we're gonna pick up my guys, get them ready, got the rod set, we're gonna go fishing, boom. Alrighty guys, so as in perfect form, clients are always late, so, but now, you can see, we got the crowds here, we need to get them picked up off the dock, get them situated, get them safety checked, and get them uh, trained up on how to put the gear out, just so we can catch some salmon when it's light, it's going to be coming up pretty quick. Alright, locked and loaded. A couple things guys, the biggest thing that I get real cruddy about though, and it's kind of a safety issue, is the leads. Like these leads, they swing around, they're not anything to screw with. I've seen so many people in pictures with teeth knocked out, because we do use a real heavy weight because we're using a big flasher here, you know what I mean? So the way this the way this um, real free spools is you push down with your thumb right here, and then your thumb is the brake on the spool and you have to let down slowly. Because if you just zip it to the bottom, the flasher spins up, the, the spinner comes up the main line. Once you get to that desired depth, you are going to crank the handle to stop the free spool or disengage the free spool. But your thumb needs to remain on the orange line, but off this black bar. Do you guys kind of see where that is? I know there's a lot, lot to digest, but when I say it, when we're fishing, you'll know exactly what I mean, okay? start out at 15, 20, I'm gonna do 25 in the back. It's still kind of dark out, it's fishable light, it's legal light, but a lot of times these fish will kind of suspend up. We also have high slack like right now, so they could be up anywhere. Follow her, watch that rod, watch that rod, watch that rod, watch that rod. Watch that rod. Dude, look at this, look at this streaker right here. He was in the gear following it the whole way and did not bite it. Oh, he was, I cannot believe that did not get killed right there. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Hey Ben, lift up, lift up. There you go. He's on there. Hey, everybody else reel in. Everybody else reel in. There you go, bud. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Drop back in, guys. Let me make sure we're good. Yeah, he's got the spinner tangled up, but darn. First little whack of the morning, he was on it too. Just had that one that was kind of, we just marked on the finder. Pick up, pick up, fish, 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 f
probably switch them out pretty quick, but already had two goes on. It's a pretty shallow fishing right here at 50 feet, but we got those at 15 and 20 on the counter. So, you know, kind of goes to show that those fish won't necessarily be on the bottom all the time. All right, let's get you back in the water. Because we can party fish here, so now you are what we call the beer bracket. Beer bracket? You're the beer bracket. Already. Just like a sitting cup holder. You're done. You get to take it easy now. We'll try to hook a fish for your buddies. And if you end up handing them the fish, because you're such an excellent, amazing fisherman, it's called the pity fish. <laughs> you, have pity, you have pity on them. I'll take one. So it's you okay. will give them a fish. All right, good start, guys. Tagged up, legal, back in the water. It's a small, it's a small. It's a small. Put the wood to it, Cam. I got him, Jimmy. I got him, Jimmy. Oh, boy. Get your ass in here. Go, Jack. And it's. And it, oh, it's legal. <laughs> Bonus fish. Sorry, I reeled that one in, guys. I know you guys wanted to find it, but that's what we call here a bonus fish. It doesn't go against our limit. Nice little bonus jack there. We don't need to go full bonker, but you know, of course, client, you know, client catches the big one. Got the. Well, <laughs> All right, so since uh, light's starting to come out, seeing some other fish caught, we don't get big here in probably another five minutes or so. I'm gonna start switching out my colors because uh, like I'm running a lot of heavy, just heavy white bladed stuff. Just trying to uh, fish that low light condition that we really want to use the light and solids for. But now we're gonna bust out some golds, coppers, some reds, greens, kind of start seeing what's gonna make them tick today. I am definitely putting out a couple of one of my best producers this season. A little copper short bus, a little custom. That's all you're gonna see. Look over my shoulder. Tell me who that is, real fast. I think it's time to do a little low hole. I said right, Ben. Go 15 again. Oh, come on. You're the second guy to just do this to me. I think right here is a good line. I think I should turn right about oh, here now. <laughs> You might not troll so close, bud. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is Jack. This is a jack salmon, and I'm pretty darn sure jack salmon, uh, jack chinook that are going to be uh, under 24 inches. Let me phrase that. The chinook that are under 24 inches are going to be called a jack. But just to show you guys, he's about 21 inches or so. So he's definitely nowhere close there. But that's what we call a bonus fish because the limit out here is one adult. And uh, yeah, guess what? They still taste the same, just a little, just smaller. What the hell, dude? Get out of the way. Learn how to troll. Hey. I'm gonna. Your boat. We're not a troll, dude. Hey, you know how? Snag him. Snag our rod, dude. Snag. I hope we do. Don't snag him. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, it's a really nice one. Giant steelhead. Give me a lift. That steelhead? Yeah. That's a giant steelhead. No, 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 I, I got you, but we gotta let this one go. It's a monster, though. Look at that. Oh, there you go, perfect. Way it's supposed to, way it's supposed to happen. <laughs> Wrong kind. All right, so we had a pretty dang good morning, and it's starting to get a little bit later, and we haven't really seen a lot of fish caught, so not kind of what we expected so far, at least when this tide changed, it really kind of mellowed the bite out, bends, Got the little grill going and uh, see, uh, see, how, see if the, uh, us cooking a bunch of food will make the fish bite for us. Yeah. 
Go grab that rod here. Reel on him, reel on him, reel on him, buddy. Whoa, oh, shoot, reel on him. Take this rod here. Take this rod here, reel it in. Oh, gosh. That's a good one. Let him run it out now. Let him run it out. That's a big one. Oh my god. Oh, it's just rolling. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Reel on him. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Reeling the weight. Reeling the weight. Reel to the weight. To the weight. Reel to the weight. He's going to go again. To the weight. Go, 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 go. Oh, nice, but he's gonna go, let him run it out again. The second he gets done, get on it. Go, 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 go. Close to your left. Oh, it's a big one, dude. Oh, 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 That's a good one, dude. Holy cow. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Look at that size oh, of that one, boy. <laughs> That's a good fish. Nice job, dude. Hey, all we had to do was get the barbecue going a little bit. That's how it always seems to work, right? <laughs> Check this guy out. He's a bruiser, dude. Look at his tail. He's been, he oh. been hit by gill net or sea lion, but he definitely put up a big fight, dude. First salmon? First salmon. This is awesome. There you go, buddy. Do. Look at that. He's been, he's a warrior, dude. What an amazing fish, like how resilient they are. All right, we just got that fish. My buddy Brandon hooked one right in that same spot. I'm going to run up and just make that pass again. Best part is, I get to wake Clint out again. See, if you're a client on my boat, and you want to bring a smoker, and you want to cook me chicken, I'll, I'll work extra hard so you get a fish. Even though he hasn't got fish yet. I haven't even been bit yet. Hey, the good fishermen in the boat got bit. The bad ones, not so much. Those that fish, fish. Those that they can't fish, cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're making the Hail Mary pass. Ate some chicken, fished in here, saw some fish caught. I mean, honestly, quite a few fish for, but for a lot of boats, pretty spread out. So we're doing our last little Hail Mary, and some of these guys got to get on the road today. And then we'll go fillet some fish up. But man, I mean, the way it started, the way we kind of jumped on them in the morning, and I've just, honestly, I've struggled like kind of this afternoon tide. So but we're giving the fish one last chance here, because once we troll the boundary line, we're going home. Boundary line is right. Yeah, build up. Well, guys, there you have it. Now you can see I've got a complete disaster of a boat and complete disarray that I get to clean up. But that's the nice part about going on a guided trip is you can just uh, get your fish, take your coolers and go home. And now I get to stay down here for the next hour and uh, clean it all up. But I tell you what, man, that was a little bit, I, like I said earlier, I, that was a little bit of a struggle for me. Like that was kind of surprising. Seen some fish caught, felt like I should have got a little better piece of that. Fortunately, we, we got what we got, put four nice fish in the box. Um, Shoot, other than that, it's just like, hope you guys kind of got to see a little bit of a day in the life of uh, going out there and guiding. And, you know, fortunately the clients are great, good attitudes, got a couple guys that first salmon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And you know, you'll be able to watch more of these videos. And like I said, as always guys, share this out with all your family, friends, like-minded fishing individuals. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.